guys and welcome to another Disney Dreamlight Valley video. Uh, today I discovered something that I didn't know. Um, it uh, It's new. It came with the June update. So, you know, that's only a couple of updates ago. So not really a big deal. Uh, but I found out that you can have multiple houses in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, I, I saw someone else do it, so then I went and did my research. There is a restriction, though, and that is that this is a pay-to-win option, more or less. So the only houses you can have as, you know, other houses in your valley is premium houses, which is why we are staring at this castle. So this castle is what I turned my house into when the shop first arrived. The castle was the very first house design. I uh, I steer away from most of them because there hasn't been any that have been like too, too terribly interesting to me. You know, but now there's, you know, as much as I hate to say it because it is the shop we're talking about. But now there is more of a reason to actually purchase those house, those custom houses. Um, but at the moment, this is the only one I felt was worth, you know, the purchase because is there a house on right now? Uh, there is not, but it's usually, it's usually pretty pricey. I would say like 3000 currency, which is like $20 roughly. So what I'm going to do is I think I remember how we do this. So we click it, I believe. And replace, yeah. And we're just going to get like a cute little house here. So you can't use any of these gable front houses. So, so that's the easy way to remember. Like you can either just remember that it's only store but if it's if it's not a storehouse, it's a gable front house. Like that's the way to, you know, um, pink or purple? Which one? Let's do pink. Okay, so it's a much a much smaller house. But okay, there we go. Okay, so we have swapped our house. The pink looks cute. Okay, so now... Um, where would that castle be good? I always wanted to swap out that house. I love the castle, but it felt a little redundant to have a castle house right by the castle. And I like my house being right here. Okay, there's our palace. Okay, so... Let's just put the palace close by for now. Okay. Now, are we good? Okay, the palace is still there. Okay, I think we finally did it. But it, it was a little scary trying. Okay, so we can see both our houses right there. So this is our basic house with our stuff in it. And we'll just go down here, and this should be an empty house, which I'll place better. We're just placing it to demonstrate, but yeah. Okay, it looks like you're just gonna have a main floor and that's it, but they do put this in here, so that's kind of convenient. Let's see. Yeah, empty rooms. Man, is that what the floor in the first house we ever got looked like? That's pretty bad. Okay. So anyway, that that is that's is that. I think I like this area for the castle. Um, because it's um you know, I have Merlin over here and him being by the castle, yeah. If it it's I just don't know where I want to put it because uh, maybe I'll see if I can move all this stuff. Because I don't want to move Remy's because I've worked hard to get every last fucking pumpkin here. We're still missing two, but I've worked hard to do this. 
So, and it, it only makes sense that it belongs to Remy, so. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the video. That's how you do it. Um, you know, if you have more houses, you'll be able to put more. I just, I've only bought one house from the shop. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, could be a reason to buy more if, if you are interested in spending money on the shop. I, I know the shop is a touchy subject for Disney Dreamlight fans. So very cool. Uh, so that calls it on this video. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.